everyone and welcome back to Tropical Marine Centre. Colette here. Today's video we're going to be going over our pond range of UV clarifiers. We've got three in the, in the range here um, at TMC and we'll go over the different benefits to each one and also be taking you into the production warehouse where you'll see them being built. Stay tuned if you want to see all of that and thank you very much for watching. Here at Tropical Marine Centre, we have been proud pioneers producing UV pond clarifiers for over 30 years. TMC create and utilise UV units in our three livestock distribution centres as we only want the best for our fish, corals and inverts. Here is our ProClear Ultima. This comes in two sizes to suit, ranging from 13,650 litres to 27,000 litres with our 30 watt model, and up to 45,000 litres with our 55 watt model in this UV. This is our Pro Pond Advantage. This UV can clarify up to 72,000 litres worth of water. These are a similar build to our commercial level sterilizers we use for our fish house facilities. We'll take you into the production warehouse later in this video to build one together. And now I want to introduce you to the Pro Pond Titan UV. This is our newest pond UV to the market. This has a sturdy body built in the UK. It uses high UV resistant plastic with specifically selected high grade titanium lining. It has a fused quartz glass sleeve and we have individually chambered the UV lamps. We have also made the caps translucent for easy visual checks. Using a completely contained photocatalytic reaction, the effectiveness of the UV is enhanced by 1.5 times. This destroys the waterborne algae and oxidizes inorganic compounds. How does this UV clarifier work, you ask? The titanium layer absorbs and reacts to the UV light, forming oxidizing hydroxyl radicals, attacking single-celled waterborne algae, organic and inorganic matter, odors and bacteria. Pollutants are destroyed, resulting in clear water and carbon dioxide. What are the benefits of having this UV clarifier, you ask? Well, clearing green water fast, UV effectiveness is enhanced by 1.5 times. Production of hydroxyl radicals work like ozone to clear the water even further. Prolonged life of the plastic body due to UV shielding and perfectly safe for all pond life, except the waterborne microorganisms that you don't want. This can maintain UV clarification on a pond of up to 108,000 litres. Yes, that's right, 108,000 litres. You also need to make sure that you purchase the correct pump size for the flow rates to match our desired guide for optimum results. If you already have one of our UV sterilizers running on your pond, please get in touch with us on social media as we would love to come and do a feature on your pond. I'm going to pop some information on the screen of our full range of UV clarifiers here at TMC and help with choosing the correct size. Now the main factors which govern the model you'll need are the pond size, the flow rate, stocking level and also the amount of sunlight the pond is subject to. Now let's head on into production and see one of these being built. Okay so we're here today with Lee and what are we assembling here today? We're assembling the Pro Pond 110 Watt Clarifier. Mm -hmm. Okay and I'm going to take you through how we work okay. and how we work different components that that production actually does and what stages. Brilliant okay thank you very much and over to Lee. Hi. Okay, so in production, we build these literally from scratch, okay? Now, we get the bodies glued and made off-site, but using our own tooling, okay? So, as production runs, you've got three parts of production. You've got one is the main assembly, which means putting the control gear into the unit, um, Sleeve in the body, right. um, then putting the lamp holders on, so on and so forth. Okay. So I'm just going to take you through this now. Brilliant. So you get your control gear. And it screws nicely in the middle, mm -hmm. creating a streamline effect. So 
until that's on nice and rigid. Then we'll put our lamps in. So what size are the lamps? The lamps are 55 watts. Brilliant. So you've got two of them mm -hmm. making the unit a 110. So you put your lamps in. Like that. Then we'll put the lamp holes on. Okay. Okay. These are like a rubber seal that go over. They the are top. rubber yeah. seal, and on the on the lock nut, you've got two O-rings mm -hmm. to, to create that seal, so um, moisture, water can't get in. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So now you've got your two end ones on. Mm -hmm. Now you you locate the pins. Right. And then push into the lamp holder. Okay. And then the same here. Now this side, just uh, just wiggle it on there, and then give it a push. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. you can hear that little noise when it yeah. the, re well. the reason why you hear that hissing noise, if you squeeze it, mm -hmm. it releases the air. If you don't get the air out of the dip mould, yeah. then the lamp holder can actually force itself off the lamp. Uh, okay. okay. So And also that makes it nice and airtight. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that is uh, stage one of production. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next stage will be the electrical tester. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll take you over to that. We now go on to electrical testing. Okay. Okay, so this ensures that every unit that we produce mm -hmm. um, is it, it, fully working and it's well within uh, the, the electrical regulations, so, it, so it's, a, it's a safe unit to plug in a home or, 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 or wiring. Yeah. Okay, so we've, we've got our main power cord in the test block. Okay. Okay, so we go through a series of earths mm -hmm. Okay, and if I get any problems at all, the tester will alert me by either an alarm or, or um, I can see on the dial right. what range it's operating at. Okay. Okay, so we've, well, I've just quickly done the earths. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to press the live, mm -hmm. and if you'd like to look at the, um, the blue dip molds here. Yes, I'm just going to bring the camera a little bit closer, yeah. Okay, you will see. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah, you will see them glow. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and that tells us it's it's all fit for purpose. Okay, brilliant. okay. So that's that part done. Okay. 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 So we've done the main assembly. We've done electrical testing. Mm -hmm. Now we're on to um, making it safe for end user. Okay. Okay. So we do we put on these dip mold restraints. Okay. okay? Now, this will ensure that young children or pets mm -hmm. um, can't take off the electrical connection easily and may cause risk, you know, with a slight electric shock. Right. So we put these on, which um, we use these two brackets with a screw, so only a tool mm -hmm. can remove them. Okay. Okay, so they can't just be pulled off or twisted off or anything like that. Yeah. It's so, nice and safe. So it's nice and safe. That goes on like that. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, very robust. Sturdy. Uh, very sturdy indeed. Mm -hmm. So we have to do this another three times. Okay, yeah. Okay. We always fold the lamp leads inside the bracket. Yeah. So again, there's no danger of uh, like a pet or a small child pulling pull in the lamp lead. Right. Okay, so we've gone through three motions now. Mm -hmm. The final motion, once we're happy that everything's nice, then we put a label on. Nicely in the middle with our trained eyes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> okay, and then 
Um, when we run production, we, we'll get a cloth, we'll clean it all, right. make sure it's nice, mm -hmm. um, ready for the customer. Okay, brilliant. So this at the moment is, is pretty much nearly plug and play? Yes, that's right. So we, we, as you see, it's mm -hmm. fully assembled, quartz are in, lamps are in. Yeah. Um, it's been tested to ensure that the end user um, receives the product, yeah. um, you know, w without any worries uh, about it not working. Right. Okay. And literally, it, it's literally you, you either wire it into a junction box, okay, okay and turn the power on, a and and that is as it. As easy as that. As easy as that. Brilliant. Um, the one thing I will say yeah. is that the um, the UVC sterilisation. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's double treated really, because mm -hmm. it comes in, it goes along this court sleeve with lamp. Right. Okay. Then it comes across and it goes out. Right. So you, you'll get some units mm -hmm. where they just flow straight through like two bits of one, pipe. Right, yeah, right. Or one bit of pipe. Mm -hmm. um, but as I say, with this unit, you, you get basically it's treated twice. Yes. Okay, so once the, um, Pond unit is finished. Yes. Okay, it gets packed with a fixing kit, mm -hmm. which um, the, the screws and wall plugs can go into a wall or, or wood. Right. And um, the actual um, the wall brackets are actually already um, in, sealed in. Or in already into the unit. Brilliant. Also, you get two hose towels. Now, oh. not yeah. So not many people put hose towels or any plumbing fittings in their their clarifiers. So. These are quite simply just glued into the inlet outport, inlet outlet ports, um, and that gives the the, the hobbyist mm -hmm. uh, a, an option to put rubber pipe on. Yes. Okay. You can put flexible tubing That's on. That's right. Them, yeah. Exactly. Or you can disregard these and then um, straight into the tube. Straight the hard plumb straight yeah. into the tube, either with a, a, t a two inch or a sixty three mil diameter pipe. Right. Okay. That's brilliant. Yep. And, so, and of course, colour instructions. Yes. <laughs> Please read. <laughs> <laughs> so that's everything from me today at Tropical Marine Centre. Thank you to everyone that's watched this video right until the very end, as always. And don't forget, if you are wanting to watch our future videos and be reminded of that, you can click the notification bell above and also the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.